Kenny Porter says Earl Spence beats Terrence Crawford easily. Hmm. True or false? What's good, everybody? Your boy Cardinal Red, Cardinal Red Sports. Let's talk about it. So, Kenny Porter believes that Earl Spence would beat Terrence Crawford easily. You know, Kenny Porter's been across from Terrence Crawford. I, I do believe those two are friends. Uh, we all know that Sean Porter and Terrence Crawford have a personal relationship. You know, I've speculated in the past that perhaps those those two made a, a mutual agreement to uh, not kill each other in the boxing ring. And Terrence Crawford just kind of got to walk with that victory. Uh, Sean Porter, to me, was a, a, a retired fighter when they fought. And he's now starting to admit that. <clears throat> But I, I think that was well known amongst, you know, real boxing fans and, and, and analysts and uh, things of that nature. I think people already know that Porter at the time when they fought wasn't the Porter that fought Earl Spence Jr. But I, I said all that because, you know, Kenny Porter knows Terrence Crawford. He knows what he brings to the table. He knows what he can do as far as a fighter. And uh, I'm pretty sure he's well aware of. Earl Spence Jr. as well, and what Earl Spence Jr. has been able to accomplish with his boxing career and how he rose and everything that goes along with that. So I think Kitty Porter would have some some good insight when it comes to who would win that fight. Now, would Earl Spence win easily? Um, you know, I don't know. You know, with the new information that's coming out regarding Earl Spence and his his wishes to perhaps not return to 147. Perhaps it's a weight problem to where he can't make the weight comfortably anymore and the weight's starting to become a problem when it comes to 147. When you look at Terrence Crawford, he doesn't have a problem making the weight at 147. So that's going to be one less hurdle he has to jump through. Now, will that be the determining factor that would win him the fight? It's, it's, it's definitely possible weight draining is not something to be taken lightly. You know, a lot of fighters have complained that they only lost because they were weight drained or they had to make this specific weight. And when they tried to do it at certain points in their career, it was detrimental to their career. So I would never say that weight isn't a factor or weight couldn't be something that would allow Terrence Crawford to win that fight, I think weight could definitely be a huge issue for Earl Spence Jr. if that fight does actually come to fruition. Now, does that mean Terrence Crawford <clears throat> would win based off the weight? Um, I don't think that that, I don't think it's that simple. I don't think it's that simple. I think Earl Spence being the bigger body, you would naturally think that his punches are going to have more of an effect on the naturally smaller guys. So, I, it's all going to depend on how Earl Spence reacts to the weight. Now, maybe him going to 154 and taking the fight is a way of him controlling his weight because he can go to 154, you know, cut the weight at 154. Let's say he's walking around at 165, you know, 170, somewhere around there. So if he cuts down to 154 to fight Thurman, and then he cuts down to 147 to fight Crawford. That's a gradual cut. You know, it would be it would be safer and I think more effective for him to do it that way than to go straight into a Terrence Crawford at 147 fight, having to cut you know perhaps 20 pounds, you know 25 pounds. That could be extremely dangerous for Earl Spence going into a fight like that because. We all saw what happened to Margarito uh, when he fought Pacquiao and Cotto as well. Both of those guys complained that they didn't feel comfortable on, on fight night, as well as Oscar De La Hoya said that he was weight drained on fight night, that the weight was the reason they lost the fight. And if you look at those fights, Manny Pacquiao looked like a tornado in those fights. He looked like his punches couldn't be stopped. They were coming so quickly, there was nothing my Margarito or Cotto or Oscar De La Hoya could do to circumvent what Manny Pacquiao was throwing at them. And that could be, it could have been a factor of the weight draining. 
that they were so their bodies were so fixated on trying to consume some calories like that feeling of hunger was consuming them so bad that they don't have any energy and that was affecting them during the fight and their energy levels just couldn't be you know brought up to the level of a guy like Manny Pacquiao at that point in his career so I would say that you know it could possibly be that Earl Spence beats Terrence Crawford easily uh, because of his weight and it could be that Earl Spence loses to Terrence Crawford easily because of his weight it could swing in any direction the pendulum could go in any direction on that one but if you was to ask me if those guys were to fight after the Thurman fight and you was to ask me who's gonna win that fight I would have to say Earl Spence based off the fact that he's going to be able to gradually cut the weight and he's not going to have to uh, do an immediate like 20 pound, 15, 20 pound drop just to fight Terrence Crawford. So I would say that the strength and, and, and the ability to absorb punches is going to be on the side of Earl and the quickness and agility is going to be more on the side of Bud and whoever wins the, uh, the, the first five rounds, I think, wins that fight. Y'all let me know what y'all think about that down in the comment section below. That like button for me. Sure, sure, sure. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Holler at me on all social media platforms. Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter. More than likely to get a response on the tube. So holler at me over there. And we are mad. Flow sick when I flow quick. Better go get your whole click. Spot less who you rolling with. I done told the chick. You don't want to have to hold your lips. So hold your lip. Now roll your hips. Spot this team. Coldest click. Roll that shit. Blow that shit. Keep that nigga with the gold that spit. Off the chain. Tossing flames. Caution dames. Let her know. Can't put a chick on a pedestal. Don't think niggas is ready for. Who we be? Lewis Keys. Take the chick and bruise the knees. Guarantee you lose to me. Niggas ain't confusing me. Just keep it real with me. I get the feel with me. I'm looking real spiffy. Kicks worth about a bill, 60 Back in the day, I used to say low They used to pass the blunt, I used to say no But now I'm smoking reefer, and now I'm drinking liquor And now I'm in the telly, and now I'm taking pictures We got them millimeters, we got them VHSs So when we zoom in, you can see they hurt My niggas, my niggas, my niggas